Sometimes I think he's missing each other. First, um, I miss your call. And now, you're off doing your thing, and now I'm leaving a message. I would ask you how it's going, but you can't even reply back because this is a playback. <laughs> But I tell you what, I bet you're slaying right now at whatever it is that is occupying your valuable time. It better be worth your time, I'm gonna say that much. <laughs> but, uh... I guess I think I'm a fish. I don't, I don't know what that was about, but anyway. Um, anyway. Uh, I don't know if there's like a name for like who do this, not that like it's right to label people, but it's such a normal thing to be a very like a caring person overall, <laughs> um, and yet walking into the world because of being a caring person, you end up, you know, shining and being antagonized and just because you know you do things differently you behave differently you talk differently like you dress differently like just anything you know like you do your hair differently just just anything and I just feel like I want to call like people who antagonize you know, naturally affectionate people, like jealous or anything like that, like, I don't think that's my place, but I just, I don't know, I just feel like these people who see, like, people who allow themselves to be, you know, caring about whatever it is that they do, um, just to make the other people around them happy, sometimes to the point where it gets to, you know, really unhealthy people pleasing and these people who want to antagonize, like, just anyone that they see as an opportunity, like, they just, they just snatch it up, you know, they like snatch us up and it's just like, I don't know, they just don't want to see, you know, people like us who is just like, although we may not be like hard and like loud and proud like the world like expects us to be or whatever like it's just like I can't go out into the world and just like you know stick my chest out like I'm the shit like it just doesn't feel like natural you know what I mean it's just like I can like arch my back because I'm a woman <laughs> to like stand straight well in reality like my back is like this right it's not like that but biology aside, science aside, like, maybe some of us are meant to be, like, mild-mannered, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think it makes us weird or anything, or it makes us, um, not willing to, you know, socialize with others. It's just like, I don't know about you, but I just happen to be one of those people who isn't down for small talk and I think that's partially why I struggle like besides like my sisters my brothers like my cousins just like I feel like females 
by creating friendships with females outside of my family, outside of our family, it's, it's super difficult because like, it's just, I can tell like these females who are not related to me, like they're really good at small talk. Hell, like everyone like is better than me at small talk and it's just like, I can't seem to, I can't seem to, you know, communicate in the same style. Like I'm very candid, I'm very open, I'm very expressive, but soft-spoken at the same time. And I think that's why like people look at me funny. Like it may not necessarily be, you know, females who are non-relatives that look at me funny, but it could be just anybody. It could be like older men, younger men, like whoever. You know, it could be just like, seniors, like whoever, teenagers, it doesn't matter, you know? And it just doesn't matter, like, yeah, they're, like for me, it's just like, I can understand, you know, even from a first-hand perspective, seeing somebody not agreeing with the way that they are, like hell, sometimes even disliking them, but I feel like it's super toxic if you dislike somebody to the point that you gotta, you know, try and change them to, you know, fit some kind of uh, standard or disposition or, dare I say, you know, prejudice that that any of us would have in mind, do you know what I mean? I just, I, I just feel like going to that extent, just belittling somebody, just trying to put somebody in their place, I just feel like it takes too much energy and I don't see why someone can be filled with some, uh, with like so much distaste for a person that they gotta control them, that they gotta, you know, have some kind of, in entitlement dare I say to try to fix them you know it's just like I don't understand why you know we have so many like different kinds of people on this earth and yet there's just so many people who take their age for granted and they make it an excuse to be set in their ways I'm not saying like everyone who is like an adult is like this, but I just, I don't know. I just noticed this, you know? And I figured like you would understand. Cause it's rough out here, it's rough, you know? And like, yeah man, I just, I just don't understand why I was talking to my other sister about this. Um, to say, for example, like I was questioning a coworker's um, bias based on colorism, and we all know colorism is taught. We all know, you know, dare I say, racism is taught, right? Like it's an unnatural thing, and I was ranting about this to. Um, our oldest sister, right? And, um, yeah, I felt like she was accusing me on the low that I was dehumanizing this person. And I'm just like, no, just because I'm disagreeing with somebody's perspective, it doesn't mean I'm dehumanizing them. I'm literally just questioning why, um, why they see only one type of skin color as beautiful that kind of makes me makes my stomach turn you know what I mean I mean like granted like I understand that there are you know sociological factors obviously there's environmental factors obviously but it's just I would have thought that you know especially in a professional setting that this co-worker would have the class to keep that opinion to herself you know what I'm saying? And I'm just sitting here like... Because I kid you not, like, in our contract for every single employee, like, nobody is supposed to talk about anything regarding, like, 
like sexual prowess, etc., etc. It literally says that in the contract, and I see it getting broken, getting that, you know, that clause broken, if you will, like on day to day basis. And I'm just like, I would, I would just feel so disgusted by it. I just, I just couldn't, you know, like I just, I just couldn't, like. But yeah, it's just, I guess what I'm trying to say that like I've been kind of too shy to talk about with my friends is that, you know, yeah, I figured like I'd feel more comfortable like sharing this with family because, you know, it's just, it's just easier for me. Like, I just don't get how some people can have like a superiority complex and look at other people who are different from them and just automatically assume that those people who are different are less than they are and I just want to sit here and be like you know what maybe this is something that I need to speak on not even just with myself because the thing is that like I know that we, we face very similar issues on the day and I figured, you know what, I just like leave a reminder in case like you needed one too, you know what I mean? I don't want to be selfish. <laughs> Cause like, honestly, like, it's hard not to let the world like get us down, especially if we're keeping to ourselves, you know what I mean? It's so tempting to just curl up in a ball and be submissive and like not say anything about the stupidity that's happening. And like... I guess what I'm trying to say is that regardless of who we meet in this life and whatever, you know, bias or prejudice or, you know, whatever opinion that they have even that makes them feel like they should be reigning supreme or something like that, I just feel like they have a lot of issues to get through and we don't have to take those issues for ourselves and take it personally, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, they're the ones that aren't even working on it within them, so they have to deflect it just to, I guess you could say, soften the blow of the pain, you know what I mean? So, it's sad, like it's really sad, like I pity that. I low-key pity that, I low-key feel sorry about that, it's just, it's sad, it's, it just saddens me so hard and I don't think that if anybody were to treat anyone, whether it's you, whether it's me, whether it's like somebody outside of ourselves, I feel like we deserve better than to just, than to just automatically believe that their superiority complex is valid because it's not, it's just, the thing is, like, if they have the right to feel special, we have the right to feel special too. You know what I mean? And it's just like, who are they to make us feel like we're abnormal when there isn't even such thing as normal? Because the thing is that, like, if they believe so strongly that they should be the norm in society, or like they're the normal ones in society, like, who are we? to not feel like we're normal too you know what i mean because like they're not the only kind of people on this planet like there are other kinds of people as well you know not everybody has to be like dare i say like arrogant and loud and like show-offs and like that kind of thing and you know putting on a front all the time i mean like if that's what helps certain people get by, then like, I guess all power to them. But if I wish, like, if I could say anything to these people, it's just like, actually I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to say to be completely honest. It's just like, I guess the kindest thing I'd be able to say is that like, I wish them well, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Yeah, and I guess like if I 
were also, you know, gutsy enough to be very blunt with these people. I would also say things along the lines of just because somebody is different, just because someone is softer than you or quieter than you or whatever, it doesn't make them any less than you. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I had the audacity to just like go up to them and say something like that. But I guess people learn the hard way. That's how some people are. And it's just like, but I'm honestly like, I feel sympathy because it's just like, I'm that type of person too. That I have to make mistakes in order to learn. So, but yeah, I just want to say that, you know what? Like, at the end of the day, we're all very normal. <laughs> we're all very, very normal, but we're all like very special too. Like, it's just that we have our own ways of being that, and no, like, no single way is necessarily more right or more wrong than the other, you know? And it's just, I don't know. I, I would have thought that was common sense by now. I thought this kind of shit that I'm talking about was like, you know, grade school knowledge. Like, no offense to people in grade school. But yeah, I just thought it would be common sense by now. But, yeah. I mean, like, look at me. Like, I, like I'm a slow-paced, like, person in a in a fast-paced world and it's just like I'm still here I'm still alive you know and it's just like and I feel that like even though I'm so flawed I'm so you know weak I'm so far from perfect like I don't mean to be cocky or anything but no matter what I do it's just I'm not saying I'm the only one who has God in their life, but I feel that I do acknowledge it even more simply because I know that I wouldn't be staying afloat if it wasn't for his help. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I think that when people see that, when people see, you know, God's hand over my life, like, even if they're not spiritual, like, they can tell that there's something and someone protecting me, you know what I mean? And like, and I think that people who haven't antagonized me anyway have become so turned off by the fact that I'm so protected from, you know, like, I wouldn't say I'm protected from hardship or anything like that, but I feel protected in the sense that I feel like God always knows what to provide me, you know, for every single, like, nitty gritty of every single moment. And I guess that may come across to some people as like, oh, she's just so lucky, she's just so rich, she's just so privileged and all this stuff. And it's just like, no. No, man, I'm just like, I'm like doing, I'm like going through the motions of my day-to-day -day life, just doing what's being like told to me, like, by my human overlords <laughs> just like everybody else but the thing is that like whatever i'm lacking god intervenes you know what i mean like i'm not lucky i'm just blessed and people don't understand that because again like i also like we also live in a world where it's like it's not cool to rely on god you know and it's just like and i do acknowledge that you know, from a world perspective, like, of course, I'm never going to measure up to, you know, these people who, you know, fit the norm, but I've come to a place where I'm okay with that, you know what I mean, and it's just like, I trust that maybe humans aren't able to change me the way that they want me to fit, but I, I trust that at the end of the day, 
whatever God needs me to be, He's going to, you know, mold me into that. You know what I mean? And like, and I trust that He, you know, He keeps everything, you know, working out in my favor. And I feel so strongly because like, you know, like I wasn't always the most optimistic person, you know, growing up, you've seen it, you know, and like, you've seen how, how dark I can be. And it wasn't my will to, you know, stay here. It was, it was God's, like, it, he decided like, I'm not done with you yet. And that's why I'm still here. You know what I mean? Like, whatever, like, whatever failure I go through, you know, on this planet, he always uses that in my favor, turns it around and be like, psych, this was leading you to this. You know what I mean? Like, he does that all the time, all the damn time. <laughs> all the time. And I feel like if people, like, you know, especially the ones who want to point the finger and be like, you're like, you're the bane of my existence, Kaylee. You make everything so much harder for every, everyone and, and for me and blah, 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 blah. And like, like us poor people, like, <laughs> we work so much harder. <laughs> and you never earned anything. You never deserved anything in this life. They want to like say all types of things to me. It's just like, Kaylee this, Kaylee that, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to shade like anybody who, you know, isn't as like, um, as they like to say, lucky as I am. It's just like, no, like I'm not really like, no, it's not like that. You know what I mean? It's just... They just don't see that whatever imperfection that I have, it's automatically made up for spiritually. You know, like, not by my spirit, but by the Holy Spirit. And it's just... It's that simple. It's really that simple. Like, I, I don't know how else to put it. And, like... Yeah, don't mind me. I just, I just love talking about him because, like, yeah, I don't know why I don't do it more often. Cause the thing is that I find like the more that I talk about people, the more like I'm not saying like people like are inherently negative, but I find that like the more that I talk about other people, the more negative I feel. And it's just like, yeah, I figured just talking about like God and like. How he has, you know, saved me from so much trouble, like beyond my understanding. It's just like, you know what I mean? There were how many times I could have died. How many times I could have died and he just like made sure that like all the circumstances li lined up in such a way that like I, I'd make it, you know? Like whether he'd like whisper in somebody's ear, whatever it is, you know? Whatever he'd had to do to like keep me like I guess like speaking about him then like he's gonna do it you know because he knows that you know at the end of the day I'm a terrible liar I'm really good at being honest you know and even if it's to my own detriment like I'm gonna be honest right like at the end of the day <laughs> anyway and it's just I guess what I'm trying to say with that is like you know also this is something that like although like me and like our our bigger sister like although I tend to disagree with her more often than not <laughs> um there was something that stood out to me that she was telling me like Sorry, I'm being, I'm, I'm a little distracted, like people are like rehearsing behind me. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, I also want to, like, remind us, like, you know, what basically our, our other, like, sister was, like, telling me, like, one time, um, of course, like, us imperfect people, like, we're always going to see each other's imperfections, especially those of us who are looking for it, you know what I mean? But whereas like with God, like he's different, you know, like he sees the beauty like in our like flaws and it's just like, and I guess that's why, you know, our relationship as family is so freaking strong because it's like, whatever the world tells us that makes us you know fucked up or like whatever but like take this in though this is something that like me and like a therapist we were talking about like we both agreed that everyone's fucked up though everyone is everyone is imperfect in in so many ways you know what i mean and it's just like but at the same time it's just like it's interesting because a perfect God can look at each of us and, you know, see the beauty of our different combinations of imperfect. So why can't we see it in each other, you know? Like, that's all I'm really trying to say. If you weren't having such a good day, I hope that this was comforting to you. Um, as fun as it was, you know, pre-recording this, uh, voicemail tree. Um, yeah, as usual, I'm really excited to hear your message, um, your reply. I'm always, you know, just kicking back, you know, jamming out, just getting funky with my with my pencil crayons, it's just like scribbling on the walls, on the floor, on the fridge, on the paper, everywhere. Just waiting for your message or call. <laughs> but it's okay, like I'm super patient because I just chill, I just chill right now because you just get to a point where it's just like you realize, you know what, this is all a game. Like they teach us to be competitive and stuff when it's just like we all know it's a joke like at the end of the day we all know it's a joke it's not even you know that serious like one time i was just you know hanging out with god like in the living room and i think he helped me realize you know what like this society that you were born into kaylee is is basically like pokemon they're just telling you to catch them all like it's, it's literally just a game and i'm just like you Lord, you're right, like, it's a, life is a fucking game of Pokemon. <laughs> People out here trying to be the Pokemon master, I'm like, who really needs that many Pokemon, but like, <laughs> but like, this applies to everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's like, accolades, whether it's like, whatever like just just anything you know like people trying to catch them all I was just like but we all know that like that shit like it's not even gonna last you know and it's just it's like when i was like still listening to infinite waters we're all in a rush to get nowhere fast and i'm like now i see where you're coming from this freaking game of pokemon you know i just what if some of us don't want to be a Pokemon master? What if we just want to like befriend like different like Pokemons and just be like, why do we have to like carry them in, in a ball and just like leave them trapped inside of there? What if I just want to talk to all of them and talk to the other like masters and just like, like who? Okay, first of all, who decided like we had to be a master of anything? Like, who cares? Like. Who I don't know, you tell me, you tell me, but anyway, I gotta use the toilet, and um,
I'll see you soon. And um, yeah, no rush, but please message me back. <laughs>